Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 2nd, 2022. Well, yesterday, those bears, they just kept on pushing in the morning. Again, jobs data, construction spending numbers, continuing to pile on, um, showing us some declines here in the market. But those bears, or excuse me, those bulls, decided it was finally time to fight back. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. You know, we have an interesting day setting up today as we slide into a three-day weekend. We have some employment data coming out, and they're still worried that those numbers could come in hot. The question is, will that inspire the bears, or will the bulls kind of stiffen up here a little bit and defend some of these support levels? Let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, we know that we have had quite a pullback here in the market, breaking trends. Um, um, we broke that uptrend um, earlier this uh, well, last month, and now we've given that back up. We've broken the upside trend, failing at price resistance levels, and unfortunately, we've just been dropping through them like crazy, dropping through a lot of these price support levels here. And um, yesterday, we came very, very close. I'm just going to draw a nice straight line right through here. Notice there we had actually dropped through that substantial level of price support here in the diamonds before those bulls finally stepped in and really made an effort right at the end of the day. Now this morning we have just a little bit of pensiveness here ahead of the employment data number. Um, we have been responding negatively to hot employment data numbers with an anticipation of an aggressive rate hike by the Fed. And this morning will be no different. The employment situation number coming out before the bell, um, analysts are now suggesting could come in hotter than what the market would like to see. So we're kind of on the edge of our seat. And honestly, markets around the world are kind of watching um, to see what happens here this morning. So keep a close eye on this. The, the good news is that we got a little bit of a bounce in there, maybe a little relief rally could be on the way. We want to be watching some of these resistance levels in the chart. Notice we have a little bit of resistance right there in the Dow. But probably the bigger, little bigger resistance area might be right up in here. So if we were to get those bulls to rally back, We'll want to watch that area up in here because remember that could really engage that downtrend here in the chart and um, we might see those bears come back into the market. If those bears are inspired and we lose this support here, well unfortunately if we lose that support there is not a whole lot of additional support uh, below until we drop. There is a little teeny tiny right there but we could drop all the way down into here and that would be pretty unfortunate heading into the weekend. So you'll wanna keep a close eye on that. Um, um, anything is possible this morning as we react to the data. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. SPY, pretty much the same situation as you can see. Um, right in here, we just grabbed a hold of that price support and bounced. A little bit nicer than that in the Dow because you saw the Dow had broken that price support level. And this is our last fairly substantial support level before we head back down and make new lows on the year. Let's, I'm not trying to predict that, I'm just saying that that's the case in the chart. Now, if we take a look, if the bulls can continue to follow through with this mo move, let's take a look right up in here. We've got a little bit of price resistance right up in here that we'll have to deal with first. And if we can pass through that, well, the stronger price resistance up here. And if we can get that much of a relief rally, remember, we'll be running right up here 
into those resistance levels in the chart. And by the way, unfortunately, we will be also running into those 50 day moving averages here in the chart. Notice we've got some short term like our eight exponential moving average um, about right across down through there. So we're going to start building a level of technical resistance in these charts as well. If we were to take a look at our um, NASDAQ, our QQQ, well, very much the same situation um, as you can see in here. We've got a level in here that we grabbed a hold of and held on those bulls responding back after failing it earlier uh, and then pushing back up. So watch that carefully. Again, if those bears are inspired and we start losing this area in here, then, well, we've got some... A uh, big downside that could occur here in the market. If we can catch that relief rally, which is really what I want to see, I want to see that relief coming back into the market because that I believe will set up some pretty good short trades. Then we'll look for an area up in here, maybe re engaging that downtrend, and then we'll have to uh, deal with that. Of course, we could move a little bit higher still. Um, come up into that area. So I don't want to short change it, but we will we will have to continue to worry about that 50 day moving average and notice that that eight exponential has already crossed down the 34 and the 20 moving down. We're going to create a level of price resistance up in there that could be a little bit tough um, to initially push through. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM also pushed down and finally, I, I shouldn't say finally, but for the first time, IWM broke below that uh, trend right here. And as you can see, that downtrend break um, that we broke in August, well, we gave it back yesterday with a gap down, um, one of the weaker of the markets yesterday, putting in a nice little hammer pattern, however, trying to bounce back up. And as you can see, we we're trying to grab a little price support right off of that area, right in there in the chart. So once again, if the bulls can push through, we're gonna have to push back up through that trend. But notice right in here, we'll run into some price resistance fairly quickly in the chart. We'll have to deal with that, see whether or not we can push on through to some of the next levels here in the Russell. So keep an eye on that. And if those bears are inspired, well, once again, there just really isn't a whole lot of good, strong support until we're kind of down in here um, on that chart. So let's hope the bulls can find some inspiration to um, um, hold some of these prices up um, on the day. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, um, interesting day yesterday where we were, were mostly up on the VIX all day. And then right at the end of the day, we had a big surge of buying the coming in. And I mean, in the last 15 minutes of the day, the real surge came in and that pulled that fear um, reading back just a little bit. We still have this resist or support level in the chart that we're going to have to be uh, thinking about. And of course, we still have this upside trend that we've got to deal with. And all we've really been doing is chopping in a pretty wide range here on this. And maybe we're just chopping over toward the trend watch that carefully. If we do find a way to pull back in here, let's watch this support area in here to see if we were to bounce off of that and maintain that trend uh, to the downside in the market. If we can fail back through there, that would be that would be nice to see in a little bit of relief here in the market. So watch that close. I don't know. Um, today's going to be an interesting day because we're likely to see lots of volatility first thing here this morning, and then it could easily become very, very light and choppy into um, into the weekend because a lot of traders, I think, are going to be thinking, boy, I get through this data this morning, and they're looking for the door to head out and extend their, um, their holiday. So kind of think about that. Um, be really careful about adding many positions on. Um, it's going to be kind of a tough day to really do much of anything with the uncertainty of a three-day weekend ahead. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 continues to suggest that, doggone it, we are oversold and we need that relief rally. But as I just mentioned, it might be a little bit difficult to buy up much for a relief rally heading into the long weekend. 
So watch that carefully in here. If we do bounce up, we certainly need this. We need a bit of relief here in the market. But I have to say the way the market is shaping up and the way economic numbers are shaping up around the world, um, any rally back may be just a setup for more short side uh, to the market. So watch that carefully. Um, pretty, pretty darn ugly here at the moment. So let's hope we can, fingers crossed, we can get a little bit of relief. Let's take a look at our T2108. T2108 continued to extend down yesterday, 33% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So doggone it, we gave up some support levels here in this chart. As you can see, we've got these little spikes down in here, a um, little bit of price level through there. And unfortunately, we failed through most, most of that yesterday. We've also given up this down uh, trend break here in the chart. So hopefully we can find a little bit of price support in here um, soon and, and see those bulls defend just a little bit. But I got to tell you, it's pretty hard to get very bullish with um, only 33, 34% of the stocks holding above their 40 day. If we take a look at our T2107, same situation here where we're really starting to show some um, pretty nasty bearishness here in this chart. Um, noticing that we're kind of breaking down here. We're holding on to a little tiny bit of support in that chart. But again, it's hard to be really, really bullish with 25, 26% of the stocks um, being able to hold above their 200 day moving average. So hopefully this oversold condition will give us a bit of a bounce, but we're, we're not in great shape here in the market, clearly. Let's take a look at our um, T2101. Now, T2101 continues to show that we have a little bit of momentum on that downside. But again, we, did, we really didn't spike up in volume yesterday until um, right at the end of the day. We saw um, in the last 15 minutes, um, a big spike that's that dark pool activity being consolidated to the market and just like on uh, Thursday where we had saw it was all selling well it was all buying and notice all we really did is cross back and forth above that line right there um, it's not really all that exciting just yet um, a lot of pushing and shoving around but hopefully we get a little bit of relief here in this market soon. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And this is what we've been talking about all morning. Um, we've got some data here that could move us around pretty substantially. Analysts have already come out this morning suggesting that the number will come in or could come in hot. We'll want to watch that closely. Um, again, that comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We're going to follow that up at 10 o'clock with factory orders, and they're expecting a pretty substantial decline in factory orders. So uh, more, more data showing that our economy is weakening um, on that side. So be kind of careful here. And then after that, there really isn't much going on. As a matter of fact, on the earnings calendar today, we really don't have anything to be uh, concerned about at all. On the earnings calendar, we've uh, we've got about 20 companies listed, but we've only got one verified report, and um, not exactly the kind of report that is going to uh, move the market. So, kind of running out of those earnings inspirations, um, and you know, downgraded earnings numbers uh, manipulations we're kind of running out of those so um, not much going on here on that earnings calendar let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please click on that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And the kind words uh, that you guys are leaving behind um, on the channel in those, in those uh, comments, um, very humbling. Thank you very much, everyone. 
I, I do truly appreciate it. it. It means a lot to me. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you need to do your own due diligence. You need to be thinking very, very carefully about every trade because the volatility of this market um, could has been pretty challenging. And heading into a three-day weekend, we have that uncertainty, um, you know, of those geopolitical or events that occur, can occur over the weekend where we can get um, some uncertainty on that Tuesday open. So just be a little bit careful about how you approach some of these. Now, first off, I want to mention some of those um, uranium plays again. I, you guys know that I'm holding CCJ and uh, well, I just had continue to um, uh, be pretty happy with this trade. Um, as I've mentioned, um, um, I'm holding the 22 long strikes, um, um, a long-term 22 long strikes, and I've got a short-term 31 short strike call on this. And right now this trade is just working out fabulous, fabulously, looking really, really good. Looking for this to hold some support, and I really would expect a little rest or pullback in that chart uh, to uh, continue. So a little bit of consolidation or even more pullback um, would probably be appropriate after such a big move to the upside. However, these alternative energy sources are really starting to gain some attention and you might want to start taking a look at some of these uranium plays, a CCJ, URA, um, UUUU, um, all in that um, in that area and there's others out there I'm sure but kind of keep an eye on some of those they are starting to perk up and look pretty decent um, overall take a look at a stock um, BJ BJ continues to perform I had an alert on this tr um, trade um, right in here that was my alert continues to perform to the upside some of these discount um, wholesale sailors uh, sellers doing quite well so keep an eye on that that continues to look really really good in an overall bearish market to see um, something like this showing that kind of strength that's encouraging so keep a close eye on that you might also want to be keeping an eye on some of the th um, solar um, I keep mentioning first solar now I believe this is pretty darn extended in the short term but a little rest or pullback might set up more of an opportunity. You can see we're kind of consolidating in this choppy area. A lot of money is being poured into these kind of technologies from the federal government and um, probably shouldn't rule out the impact of what that might do to these. So watch that closely and you can see if I were to grab um, uh, a line here and run up the trend, you can see we've got a, a nice solid upside trend in that chart so watch it pretty closely looking good and you might also take a look at you know things like tan you might also think of um, run anything in that solar industry might be coming around um, to be watched and now plug power I've talked about plug as an alternative energy as well it's a hydrogen power they have done um, two major deals here recently they're supplying hydrogen and um, hydrogen equipment forklifts and things like that to both Walmart and Amazon um, recently and as you can see um, well, we kind of gave up a little bit of price support that I was hoping it would hold on to yesterday. Didn't hold on to that area. So now this becomes a little bit more questionable. If it can pop back up and then prove to hold, okay. But now we have to worry about it here just a little bit. So watch that close. Not quite ready for prime time on that chart. Boy, let's take a look at NVIDIA. Holy moly. Um, NVIDIA and um, tech stocks got a heavy hit because of federal regulation saying they can no longer sell to China and Russia. Um, and we saw a lot of the semis. Um, feeling pretty ugly yesterday but you might want to keep an eye here on Nvidia this is a pretty big area of price support in the longer term I was even suggesting there may be some opportunities in here for some bull put credit spreads and things like that yesterday so keep an eye on that if it can bounce notice we had a nice little rally back there at the end of the day trying to hold on to that uh, price support so if it could follow through 
maybe it might be um, an oversold condition in the chart to be watching. And I say maybe with a big question mark because ugh, um, there's a lot of uncertainty out there um, circulating around on the semis now. So watch that closely. Other places I think it might be interesting to uh, keep an eye on is in that energy sector. If we take a look at, at energy, um, although we pulled back yesterday, ha we hammered um, a little bit of a bottom in here and you can see a bit of a price support level. Now one of the things we've been noticing in the um, um, data on um, oil is that um, they are, uh, well, we continue to see negative numbers in the petroleum status and um, one has to wonder where all that oil went to um, that we had been producing just two years ago, but um, we're getting um, this opportunity maybe on this pullback to pick up some additional energy companies to the upside. So watch that closely. Um, some of these oil stocks perked up pretty good yesterday. Um, individual stocks perked up pretty good. So worth keeping an eye, an eye on, I think. Um, watch that closely. And then I have to continue to talk about the potentials in some of the natural gas plays. I just don't think natural gas is going to be pulling back all that much considering the situation that Europe is in. And you know, you could look at um, UNG, you could look at uh, boil, um, whoops, boil, you could look at um, LNG. I think this pullback in LNG, uh, liquefied natural gas could um, uh, provide an opportunity for some upside move. Um, so keep an eye on those. I think longer term, we probably see natural gas continuing to go to the upside. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for all the kind words. I do truly appreciate it. I want to wish you guys a productive and profitable day and um, probably more importantly, a safe and wonderful weekend. Y'all take care and I'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.